In the beginning, there was no sky or earth, only a bottomless deep in a world of mist. Everything was shapeless and formless. The earth, the sky, the sea, and the air were almost mixed. Everything was in a confusion. Once upon a time, from a depth of this formless void, there appeared two gods. Just where these two deities came from, it was not known. Tungkong Langit, who is the pillar of the sky, is an industrious and kind god. He was mainly concerned with imposing order over the whole confused setup of things. He assumed responsibility for the regular cosmic movement. Alancina, who is also known as the Unmarried One, is a carefree and loving goddess. She spends most of her time basking in any wonderful things that life has to offer her. Both gods were living their own separate lives, both oblivious to one another's existence. Then they meet out of blue. With a slow tilt of their heads, colors all around began to rush in as their gaze connected. All at once, at that precious time and moment, they fell in love for one another. After their encounter, Tungkong Langit never left Alansina's side. For quite a long time, Tungkong Langit courted Aluncina. He showered her with his undivided attention and costly gifts. He gave her everything he had, everything she'll ever want in this lifetime. Such gestures did not go unnoticed to Aluncina. She knew in her heart that she has been in love with Tungkong Langit for a very long time already. And so, the day came where she was ready to give herself to Tungkong Langit. One evening, while spending time with one another, a news came to Tungkong Langit regarding his responsibility. He quickly apologized to Alunsina and went off to put some things into order. Alunsina felt sad after that, for it wasn't the first time that her husband left her for his responsibility. Alunsina changed. She wasn't as carefree and happy as before. She became lazy, jealous, and selfish, whose only work was to sit by the window of their heavenly home 
and amuse herself with her pointless taunt. Sometimes she would go down the house, sit down by the pool near their doorsteps, and comb her long jet black hair all day. Tungkong Langit once again told his wife that he would be away from home for some time to put an end to the chaotic disturbances in the flow of time and in the position of things. Few days went by, from being sad to lonely, Alencina felt miserable without her husband. Her feelings turned into a dangerous suspicion. She then sent to Breeze to spy on Tungkung Langit. In their heavenly home, an angry god came prancing in to confront Alunzina. Tungkung Langit was mad, knowing that her wife sent a spy to follow him. He told her that it was ungodly for her to be jealous, for there are no other creature living in the world except for the two of them. Alunzina resented such reproach, and a quarrel between them happened. Tungkung Langit lost his temper. In his rage, he divested his wife of powers and drove her away. He did not know where Alunzina went. She merely disappeared. Several days after Alunzina had left, Tungkung Langit felt very lonely. He realized what he had done. Somehow, it was too late even to be sorry about the whole matter. The whole place, once vibrant with Alunzina's sweet voice, suddenly became cold and desolate. In the morning, when he woke up, he would find himself alone, and in the afternoon, when he came home, he would feel the same loneliness creeping deep in his heart because there was no one to meet him at the doorstep or soothe the aching muscles of his arms. For months, Tungkong Langit lived in utter desolation. He could not find Alunzina, try as hard as he would, and so, in desperation, one day, while he was sailing across the regions of the clouds, a thought came to him. He would make the sea and the earth. The earth and the sea suddenly appeared. However, the somber sight of the lonely sea and the barren land irritated him. So he came down to earth and planted the ground with trees and flowers. Then, he took his wife's treasured jewels and scattered them in the sky, hoping that when Alunzina would see them, she might be induced to return home. The goddess's necklace became the stars, her comb the moon, and her crown the sun. However, despite all this, Alunzina did never come back.